everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be our July morning basket. Now, our July morning basket is going to be all about America because we are gearing up for the 4th of July. This month, I decided to try my hand at a morning menu. This is the menu cover that I got from Meaningful Menus a few months ago, and I love their menus, but I just wanted something a little bit different because it's summer, and while I love our morning basket and everything in it, in case we didn't get to everything, I wanted something short and sweet that would cover all of the basics I wanted to cover about America. So I made this. And this will be available in my shop if you would like to have your own copy as a PDF download. This is a QR scanner. So if you have our QR code, if you have a scanner on your phone, you just scan this and it's going to take you directly to a YouTube playlist that goes along with the morning menu. So inside the morning menu, we have the month of July at a glance so that we can kind of go through and cross off the days and discuss the day, the date. Um, this happens to be Emily's birthday, so we need to make sure we're counting down to that. I also have the months of the year and the days of the week. In that YouTube playlist I talked about with the QR code, there is a song for each of these so that you can sing and dance along to it. We have the Pledge of Allegiance with a little bit of history of the Pledge of Allegiance. The Star Spangled Banner with a little synopsis of Francis Scott Key. There is um, a song of this in that YouTube playlist as well. We have the American flag and a little bit of backstory and what it symbolizes. The 50 states and capitals. There is a song in that playlist that goes with this. And so we will be learning them and charting them kind of on this map. And then the last thing in the menu is the presidents of the United States. So it's all 45 in order with pictures to go with it. And there's a song for this as well. And then in that YouTube playlist, there's also a brief history of the 4th of July. So even if this is all we were to get to for the entire month, I would be thrilled. While I have tons of other really wonderful stuff, as long as we got through this and kind of, um, you know, got a really good view of everything I included in this, that would make me very happy. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all of the other goodies in my morning basket for the month of July. <clears throat> now, I have been saving our heritage letters. So I have some of our heritage letters here. And these are letters from kind of like American heroes and legends. And they're written as if, let me see, I have one open, as if it came straight from them. So this is Betsy Ross. And as soon as we got this in the mail, I knew I would be saving this one for July and so it's a letter to you from Betsy herself and there's um, a few others in here as well so that will be part of our morning basket I also included our we sing America so it's got the CD and then it has the music booklet that goes along with it so it has tons of different songs that we will be singing I picked up the Brain Quest America. Now it says nine and up. Um, I mean, she may not know all of these, but I figure that's kind of the fun in doing it is learning them. So we are going to go through this even though she is um, about two years from the suggested age. I also picked up the States and Capital Learning Wrap Up. So if you've never seen one of these, it's super fun. You wrap it so for instance, if you were to say um, the capital of Illinois is Dover, I know that's not correct, but you would just kind of wrap it like that. Then it will eventually tell you on the back if you can see there, if you're right. Like if, as long as the string wraps up and lines up to these, then you got it correct. So just a hands-on thing to practice states and capitals. <clears throat> we will also be incorporating two of our Passport to Adventures units. So we will be incorporating um, Civil War on a Sunday and Revolutionary War on a Wednesday. This would be unit 21 and 22 in Passport to Adventures. I literally um, skipped around and saved these and she doesn't know. She thinks we're done with Passport to Adventures. So she's going to be excited to find out that there's actually two more units that I snuck away from her. Then for two more read-alouds, I picked up the What is the Declaration of Independence and What is the Constitution? She loves these books from the WHO headquarters. I grabbed a stack full of readers for her as well. So we have Katie Wu, Red, White, 
and blue. And then these are a stack of our ready to read Wonders of America. So we have Yellowstone, the Rocky Mountains, Niagara Falls, the Grand Canyon, the Statue of Liberty, Mount Rushmore, Famous Folks of America, and then Famous Events and Symbols of America. I also threw our Abeka, Our America History and Geography reader in there. I don't have any other pieces or parts of this. I didn't want any other pieces of parts of this. I only have the reader because I liked that it was written at a second grade level and kind of went through a good amount of American history and geography. So I have this in here. We may or might, we may or may not get to any of it, but in case you had questions, I thought this would be a good reference. I also have two different poetry books. We have the Poetry for Young People, American Poetry. Um, one of the things I love about this series is that most of the poems have kind of either an introduction to the poem, like a little um, summary about it, or it tells you about the poet themselves. So we will be going through this. Then I also picked up the Poetry of the U.S., which is the National Geographic. We have two other poetry books by them, and I love them because the images are just breathtaking. I mean, it's just so pretty to look at. So those are two poetry books we have. And then I have a few um, picture books that we'll be reading through. So we have the 4th of July story, We the Kids, A More Perfect Union, a is for America. A is for America, an American alphabet. America is. And then those rebels, John and Tom. Then I also grabbed the National Geographic Celebrate Independence Day with parades, picnics, and fireworks. And so this is a holiday around the world. I try to find these for every holiday because it shows how different um, people around the world, or in this case, around <clears throat> the United States would be celebrating Independence Day. So like some of the different activities and kind of why we do those activities. <clears throat> I also put the Wonders of the World a Shine a Light book. This will probably end up being a bedtime story because it's not normally dark enough for us to use this during morning basket, but I put it in our basket so we wouldn't forget to use it. I love these Shine a Light books. If you've never seen one, let me see if I can get it to do it. So you would shine the light. And then when you flip the page, you would be seeing this through the Statue of Liberty. There, it's a really cool concept. I also added in here the American story, which is 100 True Tales from American History. We obviously will not read through this entire thing, but if there's a certain thing that she is kind of stuck on, which does happen, um, we will go to the time period and the story in here and read through it. For instance, um, if she wants to know more about the Civil War, we would find that in here and read through kind of the section of that. We're going to definitely read through the section um, about the Founding Fathers, West and East, and Forging an Army. So we'll just be picking out different sections and reading it out of here. <clears throat> And then the last book I have in here is the Esborn State Capitals, Explore the Capital Cities of Our 50 States. Because we're doing some of the um, state and capital work, I wanted to have this for her to be able to look through at the different ones as we were learning them to learn a little bit more about them. <clears throat> One thing I don't have pictured um, because it will be on her tablet is the Stack the States app. That um, is well worth the two or three dollars. We have the stack the states and stack the countries, but you would be surprised at how much they learn from that game. So we will probably be playing that during morning basket time too. Then the last thing I have in my basket per se, because I have a stack of games beside me, is this historical document. Um, it was a set of four, and so it is the. Um, Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and the Gettysburg Address. And so it's like, you know, real replicas of it. And I thought that would be really fun for us to roll out and read through the originals and kind of get a feel for, you know, the historical documents that founded our country. 
Okay, so while I'm doing a lot of reading aloud, I um, try to keep something that will keep Emily's hands busy. This month, I picked up the Creative Craft Boxes 4th of July kit because it looked like fun. It has a 4th of July scavenger hunt in here that we will be saving for the 4th of July, but there's also a Wonder Wand and some 4th of July glasses um, and some watercolor paintings, and it comes with everything you need in here. So I will have the instructions out for her on our coffee table in an art tray and she'll be able to, to do whichever one she wants um, kind of as the desire arises. Crafts are not my thing but Emily loves them so this is a way that I get to kind of fulfill that desire for her <laughs> without driving myself crazy because most of these are at a level that she can do independently. So this will be her hands-on thing for this month. Okay the last thing I want to show you is games. Now I have a larger than normal stack of games beside me. Um, I pulled everything that would work with America and I plan to put them on our coffee table for the month. We um, will play through them at her desire, but I wanted to share them with you in case you were looking for some American games to add to your homeschool this month. One of the ones we have is just a Uno USA. So it's just regular Uno, but it's red, white, blue, and gray. And it has kind of some um, American symbols on it so it gives an extra flair we always take this to um, my parents for 4th of July cookouts too because it's a game everybody already knows anyway and then we have the Professor Noggin um, Revolutionary War and we also have the Professor Noggin Civil War so as we're doing um, those units of Passport to Adventure we'll pull these out and do them with that We have the USA Flag Frenzy, which is kind of a spot it type of game. So you have this map that folds out that's all of the states and their flags. And you have a card laying down like this, and you have cards in your hand, and you're trying to match something um, to this card here. So you would only be looking at one at a time. And in this case, you would say Northern Marina Islands and Mariner Islands, and you would set that down. And then you would just kind of keep going until you were out of cards. So like I could say North Carolina because they match and set that down. And you just keep going until you're out of cards. And whoever runs out first wins. So it's very similar to Spot It. But you would, again, be amazed at how quickly you learn um, some of the state flags by playing it. Hands down, if you're only looking for one American themed game, this will always be my suggestion. It's fun. It's funny. You don't really have to know a whole lot about America, um, about like the states and the capitals going into it. And it comes with a book. And you guys know I love books. So it is the Scrambled States of America game. And it comes with this little storybook that tells you why the states are getting scrambled and how you are going to help. Each player gets a map. And then it has these adorable little cards <clears throat> that, like, for instance, your state starts with an M, has the letters X, Y, or Z in it, um, touches the Pacific Ocean, and then you have all of your state cards in your hand. So, like, for instance, starts with the letter M, you could lay that one down or that one. So your child doesn't have to know a whole, I mean, they'll learn tons about them, but they don't have to know a whole lot going in. To the game which is a plus because I find with a lot of these if you have no knowledge it makes it semi difficult to play and this is not one of them I also have two different bingo games we have just the USA bingo which is um, state capitals nicknames and more so this one is really fun and then we also have the geography bingo so you're playing bingo but you have sections of the United States so instead of just like the state um, and the capital, you're learning more where it's located and what that state is known for. Then we have Explore the 50 States, a game of who, where, and what, which this is just a standard board game that you travel around and you answer trivia questions in different categories. So things like which state is nicknamed the Bluegrass State, which state grows the most apples, where do cheese heads live? Again, this is one you need a little bit of knowledge to start with. Um, so I don't know how much we'll play this because she doesn't have this kind of knowledge quite yet. 
Then the last game I have for you is probably up there in our top three, and it is the game of the states. Can you sell the most from coast to coast? So the way this game works is you have these tiny little trucks, which we love, and you have these little um, packages or products, so they call them, and you're trying to sell the products to the different states. So you have like these states in your hand, and you have to travel from wherever you are to that area. Then you spin the spinner when you get there, and it tells you how much they paid you for your good. And then you drop it off, then you travel to the next state and deliver your product there. So it's kind of a little bit of economics as well. Um, and then whoever has the most money at the end wins. So it's obviously totally by chance, but you learn tons. And what I love is there's stem facts on all the cards, which is something you don't um, find in a lot of the other American themed games. So it's something completely different. Okay. And then obviously we are still working our way through the question and answer a day for kids. Three years, 1,095 conversations with your kids. So in case you haven't seen it yet, um, It is like a question and then you answer that same question three years in a row. So we will be working our way through that for two more years, it looks like, or another year and a half. And then for Bible this month, we are using the Jesus Calling Bible Storybook. So it is one that has gorgeous illustrations and beautiful stories. So we are just working our way through that. And that is about it. That is everything that I have for our July morning basket, um, which will be a pretty good portion of our homeschool through the entire month because we are taking it easy. So like I said, she'll have tons to say about what we do and don't do. Um, my main goal is obviously to do these two things every day to get through this or a good portion of this every day. Um, and then kind of let her pick maybe one more thing. So either something from here or a game to play. And then by the end of the month, we will have gotten to all of it and learned a ton and had a ton of fun too. So let me know down in the comments below what you are doing for your morning basket for the month of July and what you're looking forward to the most. Mm -hmm.